So not long before I left for basic training for the Air Force, a car hauler arrived in our small Winchester, Indiana town that had come all the way from Katy, Texas. What it dropped off was a real 1989 Turbo Trans Am. This is the only Trans Am that ever came with a stock V6, and it's not just any V6. It came equipped with the Grand National style 3.8 liter sequential fuel injection turbocharged V6, and it had the GNX intercooler, an updated 8 ECU, and front wheel drive heads to clear the uh, strut towers. Whenever I was introduced to this turbocharged Firebird, I'd already been used to the 1987 Grand Nationals and similar Turbo Regals and other full size muscle cars that were big and didn't handle quite as well as my smaller tiny turbo imports like the 200SX Turbo or the Eclipse GST. Now I, I knew that the imports handled better and I knew that the uh, muscle cars were obviously a lot faster but I'd never, I'd never driven anything that kind of had both of those qualities. At first glance I figured it was just a standard Grand National engine crammed between those strut towers but my uh, turbo Buick genius of a father explained to me that there are actually a lot of differences. The turbo Trans Am got a header that was way better as far as flowing goes than the stock Grand Nationals. And it also had the front wheel drive heads which were proved with flow vinch testing to have flown quite a bit better as well. The turbos were identical as far as I know, but the Trans Am did get a special purpose rear end that is not the standard Grand National rear end. And along with that it got an updated ECU and a GNX style intercooler. This car is bone stock down to the tires and it's basically sat in a guy's home for years. It's only got a little over a thousand miles on it, so this is basically right the way it was out of the factory. And the first time I drove this car and got into it, it had trouble getting traction each time it shifted all the way up to 120. And let me tell you, it did not take long to get to 120. And it had plenty more to go, but I wanted to back out of it at that point. You're good. I've read a few different places that just tweaking the chip in this vehicle can get you at a top speed higher than 200 miles per hour. This car really does put me in the mind of my 200SX if it was automatic and had that 3.8 SFI turbo in there. The only difference is the Firebird feels a lot more planted and solid. I think this is my dad's favorite car next to his GNX and uh, I'd like to get him on here at some point to talk about these turbo Buicks because he's taught me a lot and he's really got me into these things. I never would have imagined that they're such badass machines. I've got the honor to drive quite a few badass vehicles over the course of my life and I'd say the only thing that can honestly compare is the Cessna that I fly as far as speed. The interior is pretty nice too. Well, that's about all I got to say. Thanks for watching.